The Indian Catholic Church celebrates the feast day of Saint Gonzalo Garcia on February 6th. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video I'm gonna be telling you the story of Saint Gonzalo Garcia, the first Indian mother, the first Indian mother to be to be canonized as a saint by the church. Also the Roman also by Roman Catholic Church was venerated. Subscribe to my channel to see more videos and new updates. See you soon. Bye-bye. Saint Gonzalo Garcia was born to a Portuguese father and an Indian mother in 1556 in Bassein Basai, now part now part in in Mumbai, India. Now part in Mumbai, India. He was educated he was educated in the Jesuit school in the Basi, in the Basin Fort and wanted to join them, but being the rule that only the Europeans could be admitted, he was not accepted. However, in 1572, Gonzalo accompanied Father Sebastian Gonzalves to Japan and served for eight years as catechist under him. Gonzalo again requested admission in the society in the Society of Jesus was again but was again refused. Losing hope, Gonzalo left the Jesuit and became a businessman. Can I still like attachment? Sorry. One day on his trip <laughs> one day on his business trip to Manila in Philippines. He met the Franciscans and his zeal to work for Jesus was rekindled. He joined the Franciscans as a lay brother. When the Franciscans decided to venture out into Japan in 1592, Gonzalo was chosen by, chosen to accompany Father Pedro Batista. Father Pedro Batista, have, having lived in Japan and knowing the language enabled Gonzalo Garcia and the Franciscans and the Franciscans do a lot of missionary work and many Japanese turned to Jesus. Unfortunately, at that very time, the captain of a Spanish ship boastfully claimed to know the secret that the missionaries were there in order to prepare the way for the conquest of Japan by the Portuguese and Spanish kings. Spanish kings. The shogun military dictator of Japan was very angry and ordered that missionaries be, missionaries be arrested. In 1596, Gonzalo Garcia along with 25 other Christian missionaries were imprisoned in Miyako. They were, they were then dragged through different towns with their left ears cut and blood pouring over their cheeks to instill fear and terror in the hearts of people. On January 3, 1597, they were brought to a hill in Nagasaki. In, on January 3, 1597, they were brought to a hill in Nagasaki, Nagasaki to be crucified. Before being crucified, Gonzalo and his companions, each of them, Gonzalo and his companions, each of them embraced and kissed their own crosses. Besides nailing them, the soldiers also pierced them with lances on February 5th, 1597, along with Saint Paul Mickey, along with Saint Paul Mickey, the same day. He was 41 years old when he martyred for the love of God. That was how Gonzalo and his companions were martyred. He was beatified on 14 September 16 sorry he was beatified on 14 September 1627 by Pope Urban VIII. On June 8, 1862, Pope Pius IX on 8 June on 8 June 1862, Pope Pius Pope Pius IX declared Gonzalo a saint, the first from India to be declared a saint. His feast is on his feast is celebrated on 6th of February. I hope you everybody I'll be see you in my brand new video. Can I I love this butterfly earrings. 
I got from this one's from Jewel Galaxy right below. This is very beautiful um, earring set, and I love it. I'm gonna review on shorts. See you soon. Bye bye.